Hello everyone, this is Frank Sangvi from vlemon.com and I'm back with another Android tutorial video and in this video we are going to learn about how to capture an image from your Android camera. I'm going to click on capture image. Our new file is created. Our new file is created and our camera intent is launched. I'm going to click on this camera icon. I'm going to click on write and now this is our image. This is actual image. This is not a thumbnail let me try to refresh it and this is our second image i'm going to click on this information button and this is your file name this is located here this is the size and this is the date time when it is created so it is created around 13th of march 2018 for 12p this is my and thanks for tuning in Dilemma. let's start and for this entire tutorial we are going to use this blog post and if you want to refer the same blog post blog post URL is available in the description of this video or you can click on this so let's start and for this tutorial we are going to use this blank Android studio project in this project we have an empty activity for for our demo app, we are going to use two main element one is the image view and another one is button so image view is for displaying the image button for launching camera intent so this is my activity underscore main.xml file inside this i'm going to first add or let me quickly copy code from my blog post so we are going to add a image view and button the parent layout we are using is constant layout So this is about our image view and button. Now we need to add some permissions. So we can, now we are going to add some permissions. For this, I'm going to open my Android manifest.xml file. And inside this, I'm going to first add, I'm going to add this feature camera. And let me make some space. Then we have write external storage because we are going to save image in external storage so that's why it is required next is the camera for emission and autofocus so let me quickly copy this and yes we are going to paste it here for personal group or online training contact us okay so this is ready uh, let me go and click on main activity i'm going to first initialize our image view and button for this I'm going to copy few codes. So I'm going to copy this to line. Okay. This is done. And now we need to create its parameters on the top. Okay, this is done. Let me import this. Let's import image view. Okay, now we are going to define a on click listener for our button so this is the code for button on click listener and inside this let me for the time being let's first import this and for the time being i want to remove all this code okay i'm going to simply call a function capture image and that's it create a function now here here we are only going to call camera intent okay so let me copy few lines from my blog post so this is capture image inside this i want to launch intent for camera i'm going to copy this line i'm going to paste it here we need to import few things okay and now we are going to say start act Witty for result and set this I need to say tech and feature intent okay and we need to provide the result code so let's say let me quickly copy for activity underscore result capture image request so I'm going to define this same and it is available just here so this is our result number now we are going to override on activity result function. So this is on activity result. 
so I'm going to paste it here and I'm going to remove all this code for the time being and we are going to okay now our on activity result is done for the first demo my code is ready okay and for this demo i'm not going to add any checks like uh, result is okay or whatever the request code i'm not going to add the checks for those for the timing i'm assuming everything is fine okay so with this assumption i'm going to first launch my activity and we have two emulators here one is android version 4.1.1 and another is android version 7 so let's launch our app so i'm going to click on play and i want to launch in these two devices so our app is launched successfully okay so we are ready and let's test our app in 4.1.1 first so i'm going to click on capture image and let me click on this okay and this is our image our image is captured successfully let's try the same thing inside our android device 7.0.0 i'm going to click on capture image and our app is not working okay let's see what is wrong in this for this i'm going to open locket and inside this i'm going to select 7.0.0 and our app is failed it uh, our app is failed here the permission for image capture is denied so the first thing i want to add in this code is a check whether we have a permission to capture image or not if we don't have access then we are going to request our end user please grant us access for camera okay for this i'm going to open my blog post or oh, let me first close oh, okay. i'm going to open my blog post and i think we have our permission call okay so this is the permission call so i'm going to really copy this code and i'm going to paste this inside let's say in this function okay on click function let's say Import class, import class, import class, import class. Okay. Okay. Let me move my code from here to capture image. Now, this is the code for checking the permission. If we have permission, then this else part is going to execute if we don't have permission then this if block is going to execute and in this we are going to request for the permission now we need to handle the result for this request for this i'm going to add another function and the function is here <coughs> on request permission result okay so i'm going to the add this function just here and this is request permission result inside this we are just checking whether user grant us access or not if they did not grant us access then we are going to simply display a message mm. let me create a function here for showing a toast message so this is a function for displaying a toast message And I'm going to simply type a message here get context and I'm going to say um, this app key that's it if user grant if permission is granted then we are again going to call capture image function okay so this is the code for on request permission result now we are again going to launch our app in both the device so it is already working fine in 4.1.1 so there is no need to test it again now we are going to test it in android 7.0.0 okay so this is 4 work, working perfectly now if we are going to click on this 
button. This is the permission dialog. Allow capture image to take picture and record video. Let's say I want to deny this. This app is not going to work without camera permission. Let's try one more time. Yes, I want to allow. And allow capture image to access photo, media and files on your device. Click on this. Our image is captured. I am to click on right icon. And this is our image. Okay. Now, right now, our image is looking very small. Why? Because both of these images are thumbnail. This is not the actual image captured by camera. So, how to get actual image? So, for getting the actual image, we are going to write our code. For this, I'm going to open my blog post in Android Studio. And we are going to now, now we are going to start modifying our code for getting the actual image. I don't want thumbnail. Okay. For actual image, we are going to write our code. Okay. So let me open blog post. Now this is our function for capturing image. So let's me copy this entire stuff. And then I'm going to explain everything inside this code. Okay, so this is our previous code and I'm going to paste extra code here. Okay, so this line is same. So let me remove this. Okay, the first parameter is required is photo file. It is a file variable. So let me quickly copy it from my blog post where is photo file file photo file equals null so let's create this we need to import this class next we need to create our create image file function okay so this is private uh no i'm looking for create image file function i'm going to copy this code and I need to paste it just here. Okay, we need to import two things import this class, import this, import that, import environment. And uh, I think most probably it is a string variable. Create a field string and current photo path. Let me initialize with a blank. Okay, anything still is remaining? Uh, yes, we need to import this log and URI photo URI. Okay, and this is the file provider. So let me define this photo URI on the top so we can access it from everywhere. Okay, so I'm going to say photo URI by default, it is null. Okay, so our code is almost ready. If we want this code to work, then we need to create a file provider. What is the function for this line? We are going to learn it later. For the time being, let me first create it. So I'm going to modify a few things here. It is the code for blog post. And right now we are recording a video, so I'm going to make a few changes here. It's vlog, and I want to define this. I want to create this file provider, and for this I'm going to first open Android dot uh, Android manifests dot XML file. Inside this, we are going to copy this provider. Okay, I'm going to paste it just here, and we are going to change it to vlog. I hope rest of the thing is same. Mm, com vlog capture image capture image file provider and we need to define this uh, XML resource. So I'm going to right click on resource new for this file code is available just here. So I'm going to copy this entire thing. I'm going to paste it here and I'm going to change one thing here only this blog. Okay so this is our file provider file provider is ready and we have create image file 
and rest of the thing is done i think everything is fine okay and last thing i want to add is i want to modify our on activity result okay now we don't need this three line so i need to first remove all these three lines and the next thing we need to copy our code from our blog post so i'm going to copy everything from here and then i need to paste it just here okay let me so our, our code is ready now i'm going to stop all the application and i'm going to launch it one more time so our app is started successfully in both the devices now let's test it first inside our 7.0.0 okay now inside this i'm going to first click on capture image button and let me go back okay i'm not going to click on capture image i don't want to capture image i want to show you one thing so i'm going to minimize i'm going to open file explorer amaze and i so sd card android data i'm going to click on this files pictures and this file i'm going to click on this i and this is created just now uh 3:56 pm on 13th march 2018 and its size is 0 byte now let's see what is inside our code so this is our uh, code for capturing image so this is our new code okay so let me paste it somewhere else we are going to focus on this code so that's why i copied this code and pasted it here okay so in this code in this code block we are going to first creating an intent for our camera okay then we are creating a file okay so we define this file inside our main activity this is file photo file by default is null inside this we are just creating a blank image we are creating a image file blank image file and we are storing this file inside photo file okay and we are then displaying its path okay so we are displaying its path in a toast message and we are also logging its path inside locket so we can check it where our file is created so this is our file is created this is our file name okay next is if we have our photo file then based on this photo file gets its uri get the uri and send this uri to our take picture intent inside this we are putting extra photo uri and then we are launching our in short we are creating a file we are sharing the file uri with our camera intent camera intent is going to capture image and then it is going to store our image in this file so this is the purpose of this code block okay so let me open our code compare and let's see before and after changes so previously so in this two line when we are using this two line we are getting the thumbnail when we are using this in this we are just creating a file and we are sharing the file with our camera intent camera intent is going to store image in this file okay so this is the purpose of the extra code let me show you what we have inside create image file so this is the code block for create image file inside this we are generating our image file name okay so based on timestamp this is the timestamp and this is the string format for our current date time and this is the timestamp string we this is our image file name jpeg underscore timestamp underscore and this is the store directory and this is the line of code to create a image file okay and finally we are storing our current image path in this variable and finally we are returning this file image file to our photo file so this this is the function for create image file it is just going to create this file now we created one more thing and it is important we created a file provider so inside our android manifest.xml we have a provide what is the purpose of file provider file provider is used to 
provide access to your app image file with other applications. Without this, other applications are not able to access your image file. So that's why file provider is required. Without file provider, your this code is not going to work. So this is the lines for creating the file provider and the metadata information for this file provider is available inside file underscore dot uh, file underscore path dot xml so inside this we have our provider name and this is the path okay so this time dot java is no longer required so i'm going to remove this i only created this for explaining purpose okay so this is about our new code now i'm going to launch it one more time or no need to launch it let me open our app i'm going to click on capture image our new file is created our new file is created and our camera intent is launched i'm going to click on this camera icon i'm going to click on right and now this is our image this is actual image this is not a thumbnail now again i'm going to open file explorer and this time i want to check the file size for our new image let me try to refresh it and this is our second image i'm going to click on this information button and this is your file name this is located here this is the size and this is the date time when it is created so it is created around 13th of march 2018 4 12 pm okay so this is how you can capture and store your image inside a file now let's test this code inside android version 4. Point, uh, what is the version it's 4.1.1 okay i'm going to click on capture image okay so this is our file path so let me go and check it this is our file path and again i'm going to close this I'm going to open this. Let me open File Explorer. Okay, File Manager. This is our JPEG. Apparently, it is blank. And how to check its information? Let me check uh, settings. No. Properties. And this is the JPEG name. This is location. This is type category and size is zero byte so let me click on ok i'm going to again i'm going to launch my app i'm going to click on capture image this is our image path i'm going to click on ok and our app is now failed what is wrong so that's it for this video we are going to cover how to resolve this issue in our next video if you are referring my blog post the solution for this is already available in this blog post but in video tutorial we are going to cover this in next video some important URLs.